the foundation of, an, of a decent Islamic society is built on a good, strong family home. I don't want to start going into statistics, and I'm no way saying that if you're brought up by just the mother, you're more susceptible to crime. But there are certain stats that suggest that you are more likely, and there's a possibility that if you have a weak foundation within your family, you're more possible to go into the lines of crime as opposed to those families where the family structure is a bit more stronger. More of a possibility. It's not concrete evidence, but they're saying it's there's suggestions in terms of evidence that we can say and conclude on this point. Nevertheless, we know that one of the objects of shaitan is to cause fasad, fitna, and difficulty in this world, especially against Muslims. Okay? Now, what shaitan does, there's a hadith which is mentioned in Sahih Muslim. If you want to check the reference, you can check it. 2813. Bad inshallah. Right? Where basically what shaitan does, Jabir ibn Abdullah radiallahu anhu, he mentions, Inna Iblis arshahu ala al He establishes one place, one gathering, one sort of like, you can say this court if you want to say it. Thumma yaba'afu sarayahu fa'adnahum minhu manzilatan a'zamuhum fitna. So what he, what he does is, is that he sends his different groups, these, you know, of different shayateen to cause turmoil amongst the earth. Right? To cause fitna, to cause difficulty. Yeah, to cause like, people to rock off their iman. That one, فَأَدْنَاهُمْ مِنْهُمْ مَنْزِلَةً That person, that shaitan, that individual who is most close to shaitan, أَعْظَمُهُمْ fitna, The one that can cause the most fitna, he is the one that shaitan upholds the most. So what happened was, he mentions, يَجِيُوا أَحَدْهُمْ فَيَقُولُ One of them comes and he comes into the company of Iblis and he says, فَعَلْتُوا كَذَا وَكَذَا you know what I did? I caused this, this X, Y, and Z thing to happen in the dunya. So then, Shaitan Iblis will say to him, "Ma sana'ta shay'i." Okay, it sounds okay, but you haven't done much. Someone may turn around and say, "I caused him to stop praying. I caused him to stop doing this. I caused that person to drink alcohol." These are undoubtedly sins in their own place, and we're not denying and knocking it. Each remember one thing: don't look at the sin. Don't look at your sin and categorize it and say minor or major. Look at it like this, my brother. Look at who you're sinning against. Look at who you're sinning against when you do that sin. So don't, it's no such thing as minor and major. This is an academic discussion where ulama throughout the history have divided categories of major and minor sins based on whether there's been a wa'id and a punishment specifically specified for a certain bad act. But that doesn't mean that everything else which hasn't, we can willy-nilly do it and freely do it and say, Allah la khair salah, it's alright fam, I'll do what I like. Nauzubillah, we'd look who we are, who we're disobeying when we do that. So this is why we say, look at the sin, and look look at who are we going, look at who we're sinning against. Nevertheless, Shaitan listens to it. Ma sanaata shayta. Yeah, okay, you've done all right, but you haven't done that that much. Different come, more come, more come. There's one person that mentioned thumma yajiu ahaduhum. One of them comes and what does he say? Ma taraktuhu hatta faraktu baynahu wa bayna imrati. There was a husband and wife and they were having some argument amongst them. And I didn't leave them until a time came, I separated them. What did he cause? Tafriq, separation. He caused separation. Then what happened? Then, then shaitan basically says to him, فَيُدُنِيهِ مِنْهُ وَيَقُولُ نِعْمَ أَنْتَ He calls him near and he says, listen, نِعْمَ أَنْتَ You've done a good job. You've done a good job. And he kind of, in, in our sort of layman's terms, he gasses him up in front of everybody to say he done something decent. Sharab, alcohol, ding, their sins, but this one. فَيُدُنِيهِ مِنْهُ makes him, The badbakh makes him sit next to him. This one did the right thing, Why? Because what did he do? He caused ikhtilaf between a husband and wife. 